Hello folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to create these moving platforms in Godot. I'm starting off with a simple scene here where I've got my main node, I have my character body 2D for my player so I can move around, and then I just have this static body for my ground. So if I run this now I can move around and I've got the basic physics. So what I want to do now is add in this moving platform, and I'll do that as a new scene. It'll be a basic 2D scene which will give me a no 2D, and I will rename that to moving platform. The child node is going to be animatable body 2D, which is a physics object and it has collision to it, but the properties of it can be animated. I then need to be able to visualize it, so I'm going to add a color rect, which I will resize to be 160 pixels wide and just leave it as 40 pixels tall. Since this is a collidable body, I need to add a collision shape to it. So this will be collision shape 2D, and it's just a rectangle, so that's what I'm going to use for my collision shape. In the real game, I would use a sprite for this platform, but chances are it's still going to be a rectangular shape. I can now save this inside of my scenes folder as a moving platform. And inside of my main scene, where I've got all the other components, I will instantiate that as a child. So now I can move my player up a little bit and move the platform underneath. When I run this again, the player collides with the platform, so the physics work fine. There is collision there and everything's behaving but the platform now needs to move left to right. The way that will be done is by adding another child to this, which is going to be called animation player. Because this is an animatable body, it means that we can use the animation player to change its various properties. So we select this node, go into animation and add a new one, which I'm going to call move. That will bring up this extra section underneath, which shows how many seconds the animation will be. So if I change this value to five, then I get five seconds worth of animation. I then head over to this plus here and I select the property track. This tells me to pick a node to animate, which is going to be my animatable body. Then it says, which properties do I want to animate? Well, I only need to change the position of it so that I can move it around the screen. Now I can add various keyframes here to move my platform around. So I right click here and insert a key. I want this to be right at the beginning of the animation. So I type in zero, and down here are the X and Y coordinates of my moving platform. Right at the beginning of the animation, they should be at zero, zero. That's the origin point. But then halfway through the animation, I will add another key, which will be at two and a half seconds. And at this point, I want my platform to have moved over to the right by 300 pixels. So let's click play and see what happens. The platform now makes its way across to the right and it stops there. What I needed to do is to come back to its start point. So I'm going to add another keyframe, which will be at second five, since that's how long my animation is, and the X value gets reset back to zero. We play that again, and this time it goes to its destination, and then it comes right back to the start. Lastly, because I wanted to move back and forth, I'm going to click this button to loop the animation, and I will click this button to autoplay so that the platform moves by itself. If I rerun this now, I have a moving platform. It moves 300 pixels to the right and then goes all the way back to the start. The animation just loops over and over again. And because this is a physics object, the collisions are handled inside Godot automatically. That gives a platform that moves left and right, but there's loads of flexibility with this animation player. For example, I can change this to, instead of moving side to side, it can go up instead. So that would be, let's say, negative 150. If I rerun this now, the platform is now going to go up and down instead of left to right. And that is how you can add a simple moving platform into your Godot game. If you found this useful, then leave a like and I'll see you in the next video.